He's called the Pavarotti of the Plains, and not just because of his operatic girth. Don Walzer sings so sweet, as they say in Texas, it'll make you feel as fine as frog fur. What exactly is the music that you do? Well, it, it's closer to the roots of country music, you know, and I told somebody the other day, if you let the roots of a tree die, the whole thing's gone. No doubt about that. These days, country music is defined by the likes of Garth Brooks, or Dwight Yoakam, or Clint Black, what Nashville calls hat acts. I think that uh, they've gotten away from the roots of country music. A lot of them have. So it's not your cup of tea? No. and. Uh, and, and it hurts to be too country for country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but save your tears. In Austin, home to one of the liveliest music scenes in the country, Don Walzer is hotter than a honeymoon hotel. With young folks... He's seem... great! Look at those eyes, he's adorable. Older folks... I came from West Texas, and this is the kind of music I heard growing up. Even older folks who think they're young. Oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> oh, man. Don't all Big, bald, and 6'1", this grandfather is an unlikely adult, and how he got here is just as unlikely. Don Walzer grew up poor in a small town in West Texas. His mother and his father worked nice slip days. His best friend was the radio. I left it on all night as a kind of a babysitter, you know. <laughs> and I was just there, you know, 12, 13 year old kid, listening to the Grand Ole Opry and all the great old. Music his head back then. Walzer began performing in Texas honky toss when he was slatin. A few times he shared a bill with Lee Holly, and he was touring the South around the same time as other young fella named Elvis. I'm kind of jealous of you. I was about his age, and all the girls was paying attention when I was a pretty good looking old boy Sam. And I, uh, like then, I thought I should be getting a little attention myself. You know? But Walter married young and soon had family to support. So by day, he worked an order for the National Guard. But by night, he kept on playing the music he loved at dance halls, a club, pretty much anywhere he could find an audience. Just over a year ago, Walter retired from the Guard after 39 years and put out his first album, Rolling Stone in Texas. Since then, he's been busy as a hound in Lee season. The harvest has been dead, and the fields are polluted. He's even a favorite with a nose ring and tattoo crowd. The man has not changed his style. That's just the perverend and, and good music. It's shine through. Maybe it's his signature yodel, a sound one critic said was better than sex. Yodel is real sexy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's awesome, yeah. I mean, there's not too many guys that could do that. Teach me a yodel. Oh, Murdy. I think you hit falls at a 